Coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. It's Thursday, we've got a lot of economic data coming out ahead of tomorrow's uh, uh, jobless claims number, non farm payrolls. But one thing, <coughs> uh, yeah, choking on a little crow here. I didn't really see corn going below eight bucks. We've gone down, tested this 780 area, 785 to be, I think it was one of our lows there since I walked up here. But since then, we've really kind of popped back. The bulls have really started driving this market higher after letting it trail off this morning. So we're starting to see that go back into positive territory, the 1790s. I'm actually looking on putting an OC 850, 880 call spread on for two cents. I think that that's going to capture on uh, next uh, the September 12th coming out for the uh, crop report. I'm going to try and capture that meeting for upside potential. I think we're going to go back into the 820 areas. I still think that that's the logical, but right now we're at the technical. The technicals are trumping the logical at this point. There is no corn out there, as I've said before, but that's what I see happening. Now, I talked last week about gold going above 1700 or testing that 1700. We've gotten above my resistance of 1704, and then we really saw a pop up there. Now, if we can get above 1717 to 1720 and settle there, I think it's going to really bring the bulls back into the market. And then we can really trust, look at testing 1745 to 1766 or the next two resistances on the upside. Those are definite possibilities, especially with the more talk we have about going around with this QE. That is definitely a plausible situation that we can see on the technical front. As for bonds, bonds we saw come off pretty sharply and test this 149.13 area. We found support there. It's really going to determine, what's really going to determine this is how the equities react. I think that we're going to kind of settle into a range here for the rest part of the day just because we're heading into tomorrow's non-farm payroll. I think it's going to be kind of settling up the books, getting flat positions or at least hedge going into this number. That's why we're going to see a little bit of less volume going on today. Um, anyway, uh, what else we got? The wheat prices. Wheat's really kind of driving this market. Like I said, look for wheat to kind of be the leading indicator of the grain room. Wheat is starting to push higher. Why? Because Brazil and Australia are really seeing dry start to this, uh, this year's harvest. That's t causing wheat to rally and behind it, the corn and the beans. So look for that to happen for the rest of the day. I think you could still see corn test $8 today now that we flushed down and started getting a little bit of support rallying back. Anyway, that's about all I got today. So if you can't take that, take it easy. Every day I'm shuffling.